Hello and welcome. Today's topic is energy. And when I began the, the video series on chakras, in the introduction number one, which you can catch here, <laughs> uh, I promised that I would share with you a way that you can call in your energy and actually lock it in to protect it. So a little bit of background about this. In an earlier video, we talked a little bit about quantum physics and the um, theory of entanglement. So, you know, our energy bodies, they move out from our physical body and they inform us what's going on in the world around us and inform the world around us what's going on within us. And entanglement theory has to do with when we share our energy with another. So when we're together and our energies are sharing with each other, it's an energy exchange that's happening. Well, when we leave each other, there's a tiny bit of that energy that stays with us. There's a tiny change that happens and we can actually take on others' energy and they can take ours. So before we get into the whole how to gather and lock up your energy, Let's talk about a couple of terms that people use interchangeably. And one is compassion, that you are a compassionate person. You have compassion for what others are going through, what others are feeling, what they're experiencing. You are a compassionate person. And this word, compassion, is often interchanged with empathy. So again, you're feeling uh, empathic, you have empathy for what someone else is going through, what they're feeling, and so compassion and empathy, being empathetic, being compassionate, these are interchangeable words. But the word empath, to actually be an empath, that is a little bit different. Being an empath actually means that you, your physical body, your energy system, you actually feel other people's energy. You know, there are a lot of people who are empaths and they don't really realize it. So, if you are an empath, you can be with someone and they can be explaining something they went through and you will actually feel it as if it's your own. If you are reading for someone and you're reading them and you get real involved in the reading, you can actually feel what it is they went through, what they're going through. And you can take on that energy. We've talked a lot about how positive energy is light and fun, energetic, and negative energy is dark and heavy. So sometimes if you're an empath and you're not aware and you don't know how to read your own energy, Maybe you are taking on energy from another and it's not good for you. So there are some ways that we can like gather in our own personal energy, bring it to us, lock it in, and really protect ourselves. So obviously we want to be able to share our energy when we're working with others, when we're relating with others, our friends, our neighbors, our loved ones. Um, or if you do psychic readings, of course. And you very, it's very important that you know how to bring that energy back in, how to lock it up, so that you're not just walking around bleeding your energy or grabbing energy from others and not aware of it and feeling exhausted or not understanding what's going on. So, first of all, there is something that is pretty, pretty common, and you can do this. Um, this example is, let's say that you hold an apple in one hand and your arm is stretched out and you're holding an apple and you stretch your other arm out and you have a friend push on your empty arm and you can resist and you will feel a resistance and maybe they can't even push your, down, your arm down easily. But let's say that you take a cigarette and you exchange the apple, you hold a cigarette, you have someone try to push your free arm down, whoosh, you will pretty much have no resistance because your body knows what's good for you. It knows. A lot of people will actually do this kind of a, an exercise to determine if this is the right vitamin or this is a good food for me. So that's one way that you can kind of 
test your own energy and do it with your do it with friends and loved ones. It's pretty fun. It's very interesting. So let's get back to how do we gather our energy. So remember that our energy bodies, our subtle energy bodies, basically make up our auras. And our auras are encasing us all the way around, front and back, up and down, kind of like we're in an egg. So by visualizing all of this energy, and even some people can call their energy from many different, say, timelines, different dimensions and, and bring their energy back into them. So it's a matter of what, how you operate, how you identify your energy. And if you're just learning about energy, use your visualization. Use visualizing that your energy is coming in. You're calling it in. You're gathering it. You're actually gathering it. You can think of butterfly wings butterfly wings coming in and enveloping you in the front and from the back and you're being enveloped by your own energy and you're feeling charged and well and and you're clear and you can do this exercise sitting or standing and I like to do it with affirmations and I'm going to use just a simple quick affirmation that is kind of my go-to and I'm going to stand up and show you how I do this, bringing the energy in once I visualize and I feel my energy is gathered around me. Then I will actually, and again, you can do the standing or sitting. First thing, back to the basics, you're grounding your feet, your root chakra into Mother Earth, and you are feeling this energy engulfing you. And you take your right hand or your left hand, up to you, and you start here near your root chakra, and you work your way up. And the affirmation that I love to use is I say that I am grounded, I am peaceful, I am loving, and I am whole. And that's it. Now, what this affirmation does is, well, we're putting attention to being grounded. We have been putting the attention to our energy, engulfing us, calling and gathering our energy. And you can think of knitting it up, knitting it nice and tight. You can think of zipping it up. You're locking it in. However, whatever resonates with you and works for you, do that. And the words that you use for your affirmation to pull this in, what's happening is you are you are focusing near your root chakra. You are claiming that you are grounded, that you are peaceful, that you are loving. You're claiming this. And you get up through these physical chakras. You come to your heart chakra. Now things become ethereal near your throat chakra. And you are letting the universe know that you are locking in your own energy. It always helps to say thank you and be grateful for the energy you have. And... Experiment with this. See what feels good and feels right for you. But you must practice. Practice and be aware of it. And I certainly send you much love and hope that this helps. And I'll see you in the next video.